sequence ball. Sequence ball is used to perform two operations in sequence. For example, cylinder 1 should extend first and then the cylinder 2 should extend. For such sequence of operation, we use sequence wall. Sequence walls are usually used in case of hydraulic system. Construction is shown in this figure. It has a spring-loaded conical poppet and an adjusting screw. By turning the screw, we can adjust the pressure at which the conical poppet should lift to allow oil to flow to second port. It has an inlet port and outlet port 1 is directly connected to the inlet port. And the outlet port 2 is connected through the conical poppet. If conical poppet lifts, then only oil can flow to 2. This is symbolic representation of sequence wall. Inlet, outlet port 1, outlet port 2. In normal position, the sequence valve is closed. This is normally closed type of valve. When the pressure in the line increases, the pressure exerts force on the conical poppet and hence the conical poppet will move up to make the connection from inlet to outlet like this. Okay, let us understand the functioning of sequence valve in the circuit. This is the sequence valve. It has one inlet and two outlets are there. Outlet 1 and Outlet 2. Outlet 1 is connected to first cylinder. Outlet 2 is connected to the second cylinder. And the circuit has two cylinders. These are single acting cylinders. And this is FRL unit, filter, regulator, lubricator. And this is 3 by 2 direction control valve. It has three ports, P, A and T. And it has two positions. In first position, P to A connection is there. T is closed. In the other position, A to T connection is there. P is closed. When we keep the lever in the first position, P to A connection is there. Fluid flows to cylinder 1. Cylinder 1 will extend and then after that, fluid flows to second cylinder. Cylinder 2 will extend. Means there is sequence in operation of these two cylinders. First cylinder extends first. The second cylinder will extend after completion of extension of first cylinder. When we keep the lever in the other position, A to T connection will be made and both cylinders are retracting simultaneously. During retraction, there is no sequence. Both the cylinders are retracting simultaneously. From both cylinders, the fluid flows out. Okay. From first cylinder, it flows through one and second cylinder, it flows through two and the check valve and it will flow to A to T. This, if it is air, it is exhausted. In case of hydraulic systems, it is taken back to tank because it is oil. Oil can't be exhausted to atmosphere. In the cylinder, one is extending. Once the extension is completed, pressure in the line will increase and due to which the sequence valve will open so that the fluid flows to the second cylinder. Increase in pressure in the line causes the sequence valve to open so that fluid can flow to seconds and usually sequence valves are used in hydraulic cell circuits only rarely sequence valve are used in pneumatic circuits in case of pneumatic circuits we use limit switches and solenoids or limit valves and pilot operated valves